Hey everyone, welcome back to the Treasure Lee channel or my channel. I am here with the September Mixed Media Kit. And it has, as your get your going piece, this beautiful rustic bird cage. And it's flat backed, so you can just set it on a shelf up against a wall paint it up it's great it also comes with the little rust bird to go with it and that's those are going to be the project I'm working on right now is around that main piece and then you have a couple of Prima flower packs there's this vine which is pretty mosaic spinal and this pack which is pretty mosaic emerald dream so those are some nice flowers to go there you have some glitter some little beads here which I am probably and look, mine came with a bonus little red bead mixed in from the factory. I guess we'll call it a bonus. Um, a jar of some gloss gel medium from uh, the Crafters Workshop. This Moon Shadow Mist from Lindy's Game, which is the Phantom Fuchsia. There, Phantom Fuchsia. And the labels, I haven't tested this one, but I've had other Lindy's games. The labels are pretty accurate representation. And you just uh, grab up some, well, it has the directions. Use warm water, put it up to that fill line that you'll find on your bottle, and let it sit for 10 minutes, and then shake it up before each use. A dauber top in case you want to instead of spray you can just rub that in and this pack of ATC cards and I really I also I really like the box too but this is letter cards alphabet so there you have it this month's mixed media kit from Trey Jolie with lots of Prima products in here some mediums which will be getting put to good use and this which if you want to be able to work inside these tabs do bend up there you go. Make your work a little bit easier, I guess. So you can take that back off. Work on it and put it back together. Which is probably probably what I'll be doing. So I'm just going to get things together, um, sit back, stare at it, think a little bit about which direction I want to go, and then I will be back with what I'm going to be doing for this birdcage. Okay, I think to start, I am going to mix up some of that uh, gel medium and I'm just going to grab up there we go and I sometimes I keep old packaging around for mixing surfaces so I'm gonna mix up 
some of this gel medium here. I kind of have a plan going. And I'm going to put in some of this uh, Moon Shadow Mist. And then to give it some texture, I'm going to plop in some of those clear beads. I'm just going to try to see, it doesn't have to be perfect, I'm just going to put some of those beads down with that gel medium on my surface here and I'm putting some in the bottom. Okay, and now before that dries, I'm also going to give a little extra spray of this moon shadow mist. And then I'm just going to let it air dry once I get, get in the towel, make things a little less messy for myself. Gonna, there we go and so then I'm just going to give this a spray and let it pool and sit and soak in however it wants once this is finished drying I will be back to work on my next part actually you know what scratch that I'm gonna work on this part real quick and this part is going to be doing the same idea here, but on the bird. Well, sort of the same idea. I'm not going to mix it in. I'm not going to use the glitter, or I'm not going to use the beads. I'm going to use glitter. But I'm, I'm going to still use this moon shadow mist to add color to my gel. And I'm going to brush it off. Okay, and I'm just going to set that to dry as well. And I'm going to grab up just little container I have. I just have this little jar and I keep it around for times like this. And I'm just going to put this whole mix in here now because I do have plans for more use with the, the glitter and that gel. So now I'm just letting all these dry and then I'll be back and I think this is actually going to be a rather quick rather uh, easy project to put together most of my time will be spent waiting for that gel to dry but I think when I get back I'll be able to add my flowers in and add my bird and hope, hope that comes out the way I'm thinking it will. All right, you can see some of that purple coming through on here. And down there, 
those beads, that texture. And especially here, when it's next to the original color, <clears throat> you can see the bit of difference that that, that Lindy's Moonshadow Mist is really making in there. So, I was looking at it, and I was thinking... that I think I'm going to coat the rest of this in the Moonshadow Mist mixed with the, the gel medium. Not, not mixed up like with glitter or, um, or the beads, just mixed up. Just sort of make it into a, a paint. So, let me just mix this up a little bit, and then I'm just going to brush it on the, the bars and the base here. And now, like I did on the back and the bottom, I'm going to give this a spritz everywhere that I had just coated. Alright, pretty sure this is dry. I can touch it, nothing's coming off. It doesn't really take very long when it's thin like that, a thin layer like that. And you can see, there's the original color. And now I have given it just a bit of a purplish tinge on top of that metal. And doing that only using items that came in this month's kit. And then here's my, my back panel with some texture in there. And that texture is continued to the bottom of the cage. And then I have my little glittery bird here. And now, yeah, to I really, really wanted to see if I could get this bird at the edge of this cage, which it might prove a little tricky, maybe. But this is really where I want to put this bird, sort of like it's coming out of the cage. So I'm going to grab up, I'm just going to start until I find, actually that one might work. I think the bottle that came in the kit is just the right height, there. And my bird will sit there, unfortunately, oh, okay, that's what I'll do. I'm going to grab up a palette knife. I'm going to put some of this on the bar that I want to set this on. And then I have to put the lid back on because this is going to be just the right height to balance that tail on to hold to hold the bird along that bar well the medium sets up and I'm going to I'm going to going to kind of try to clean up some of the excess, just like so. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. 
all right you can't really see this I'm gonna cut in I'm gonna use my phone and make a clip of what it looks like down here and then I'm gonna insert it in, around in this area I'm going to try to kind of work. I'm going to use this flower pack, the one that had these in it. And I'm going to try to try to get things sort of going over here. How they might work. Eyeballing it, I guess, for now just to see how the placement will work out I'm not gonna make it flat like this which brings me to I may I may have to do something a little bit different there first I do know I want my leaves looking like they're in motion so I'm going to start by kind of tacking them down in place at the top where I know they won't really get away like so so see if I can do that then I can kind of they kind of have a, a movement to them a little bit there and then I'll put the other one or the other end down So that kind of holds them up in place, makes them look like they have a little movement. They're not just stuck flat to the back of the bird cage. Now to kind of try to place my flowers, which I'm thinking this big maroon one here is going to kind of get pushed up into the corner like so and I'm going to adhere it at the base of this instead of on the back I'm going to put it on the base just just like that well I didn't want it to be quite that messy but ah. there we go ah not there we go like that I'm gonna try to kind of build up a little stand of sorts underneath the flower
like that. Just like that. And then I think I'm gonna do the same thing here. And I'm gonna try to line up, I'm trying to line up my flowers that'll be going on my back like this. just like that everything's in place now um, I'm gonna put this back together make sure that after it's together everything stays where I want it there you have it and if these aren't exactly how you want them now, you can just find something. Use your fingers. Use a, a palette knife, the, the, the end of a paintbrush. Whatever's long enough to get in there that you feel like you can control. And just sort of push them in and move them around a bit how you want them. To get them exactly with what makes you happy. Let's say that, with what makes you happy with their placement. This is, this is how I'm going to be leaving mine. You can see the glitter on that bird. Those text, that texture in the back and the bottom. and those flowers in place so actually I had been thinking I shouldn't say I shouldn't say that this is how I'm gonna leave it because I was kinda of thinking about adding in just a little bit more of the mad or of the uh, moon shadow mist on the flowers not a lot I'm just going to kind of let it there I don't know there we go if you don't push this down all the way you can kind of just get heavy drops Maybe just to sort of spread it out a bit. There. If you don't want to do with the spray or splatters, you can also just unscrew unscrew the cap and flick it off the end like so from the um, end of the tube there and that will work out nicely as well or if you have a paintbrush you can dip it in and use it in there to get some drops on. I'm going to let that dry now. Come back, take a look at it and see if if I'm happy with it and ready to leave it as is. My bird cage 
is complete. I'm going to leave it how it is now. You can see some of those splatters in there. This one, the shimmer from that moon shadow mist really shows up. You can see some of the darker spots just randomly in here. More of that shimmer. I have my bird coated in that glitter and I have my back and my bottom with their own texture where I mixed those beads in with some of the medium, some of the moon shadow mist and you can see that the purple hue of that moon shadow mist now on the on the metal finish so you can see this was the original color and with just mixing in some of that moon shadow mist into that gel and brushing it on I kept the rust color but I kind of added a purple sheen to it so everything I have done for this particular project I did using only items from the kit I used the glitter the Lindy spray the medium some of the beads one of the packet of flowers and of course the bird cage thank you for joining us here at Treasure Lee I hope that this inspired you and that you were able to follow along if you so chose to don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for the channel so you'll be able to watch the other videos that come up from the other designers and at the beginning of the month you'll get the reveal video that shows you what's in the coming kits. I'll see you again soon.